Hello everyone, welcome to another Google Ads video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to target placements in Google Ads. You want to target specific websites for your display campaigns. How can you do that? Before we go straight to the point, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. Step number one, we're going to create a display campaign. And at this stage, I want to make a very important point that we can only target specific placements in traditional display campaigns or video campaigns. We cannot target specific placements in performance max, demand gen, shopping, app campaigns, and so forth. Why? Because in performance max and demand gen campaigns, we create audience signals, and signal is not traditional targeting. If your intention is to target placements, you need to go with a display campaign, a traditional display campaign. You can use responsive search ads. They were going to look quite nice and cool, but you need to go with display. Now we're going to go with display. We're going to pass the bureaucracy here very quickly. And the next thing that we need to do, we're going to skip all the settings. We're going to go straight to targeting. We're going to add targeting, and here you will see an option to choose placements here. So this is the option to choose placements. How can you go now about it? You can either, let's say, maybe copy a website URL. You can come here, you can paste it in, you can press enter, and the system will detect this website. It will hopefully identify it under websites here, so we can choose this placement and it will identify now other websites similar to the one that you provide to the system. Or you can simply bulk enter multiple websites. How can you do that? You're going to come here, you're going to say, I want to enter multiple placements. And as a tip, I will encourage you to use AI, artificial intelligence. So we're going to go here to ChatGPT. We're going to say to the system, give me a list of let's say the top 20 news websites in let's say singapore and i want let's say bullet points urls only not the most sophisticated prompt but you get the point so ai will do the hard work of identifying the top websites in your niche we're going to copy all these beautiful placements and we're going to paste them in here one line, one placement. Then we're going to say add 20 placements and the system will just add these placements to our ad group, basically. Now, a couple of tips at this stage. My recommendation will be to create one placement campaign and then create different ad groups for different types of placements. So you have one ad group targeting news websites, another ad group targeting lifestyle websites, another ad group targeting business websites, another ad group targeting sports websites, and that will give you more control in terms of understanding what is working, what kind of theme is working for your campaigns. It will be nice and neat for your reporting. One very important point, the second point here, is that Google will let you choose all the websites that you like, but it doesn't mean that these websites are part of AdSense or are, they are part of Google Network. Right, so we can actually come here and choose any placement. It doesn't mean that this placement actually is part of the Google AdSense network and it gives inventory to Google, right? So how can we see if a website is part of AdSense? We can actually go to a website, we can look at the banner and here, if you hover your, your mouse, you can see here I'm covering my mouse in the bottom right corner or maybe sometimes in the upper right corner, you will see ads by Google. Now you know that this website is part of AdSense and it actually provides inventory to Google Ads and it serves display banners. So having this in mind, because some of the websites you're going to choose are probably not going to be part of the network or they're going to not really give a lot of inventory to the network, my recommendation is to have at least 50 placements per ad group. Some people may disagree. They may say, oh, I just want to target these three websites. That's fine. You can target these three websites. But keep in mind that if you do this, the volume is not really going to be 
that high. So you're not going to get a lot of impressions, a lot of clicks. It is more meaningful to have at least 50 plus placements per ad group so you can get enough volume for your campaigns. And that's pretty much it. The last tip here that is very important also is make sure you deselect your antique optimized targeting because if we have optimized targeting turned on and we have a placement campaign, optimized targeting means we give the ability to the system to go above and beyond. So it's just all the hard work for nothing, right? So the system will just go very broad and just ignore for the most part our placement. So we need to deselect optimized targeting. That's very important. Then we launch the campaign. That's it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some of you may say, that's great if you create a new campaign. For me that I have an existing display campaign, how can I inject placement? So let's say this campaign is live. How can we now go and inject new placements to our campaign? Let me actually show you here very quickly how we can do that. You are going to click on your campaign. You are going to go on the left-hand side. You are going to choose audiences, basically here, and you are going to basically go here and say, I want, not audiences, I want to go to content. I always fall for audiences. So you're going to go to content. You're going to say, I want to add content in this ad group. And here we go. So you're going to say targeting. And you're going to go under placements here. And you're going to repeat the same process, right? So you're going to come here. You're going to either bulk enter URLs or you're going to, let's say, enter one by one. And that's pretty much it. Now you save and you are done. So that's how you can target specific websites, how you can target placements on a display campaign. A recap of a couple of things you need to note. We can only target placements, specific websites under traditional display campaigns. We cannot do this at this stage for Pmax. We cannot do this for demand gen you can inject placements after your campaign is live by clicking at your campaign going to content on the left hand side selecting your ad group then you choose targeting and then you open placements and you start basically injecting the websites ideally 50 plus websites per ad group not all websites you choose are part of the google network that's why we need to have quite a lot there in order to make the most out of this campaign, use AI to get a list of all the websites that are in news or in different things quickly and easily. And that's it. That's all that we have for today. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in a 